Thursday, December 15th, 2016, Monaco 64, home of alternative economics and contrarian views. So, uh, yeah, it's almost 6 p.m. London or 1 p.m. New York time. Um, I was out uh, most of the day today. I played a bit of golf. Uh, it's not that cold in London. And I've come back uh, and I've watched what the markets have done after the... Uh, Fed rate hike, which was completely priced in, and despite that, you know we've seen a huge move in uh, in the currencies. The dollar is very strong. Uh, dollar index, uh, what is it? It's up uh, over one percent. It got up to uh, a high of one o three fifty six today, and right now we're at one o three twenty three. So very strong dollar, despite the fact that everyone knew uh, that the Fed was going to hike. They did change their uh, expectations of rate hikes for next year from two to three. But last year, they were expecting to hike rates four times this year, and they only did it once. So, uh, <laughs> you know what take it as you know you will that uh, fed promise but the other uh, thing that's going on of course is gold and silver have been hammered quite badly uh, we got down to 11.2260 in gold we're now uh, just uh, at 11.29 almost back to 11.30 silver um, broke the november low of 16.17 traded down to 15.86 and we're now just around 16 dollars and uh bond markets as well uh well right now the the 10-year yield has dropped back it's uh, at 257 but we're clearly through two and a half percent we got up to uh, a high of two almost 264 today so We've gone up uh, almost 20 basis points in the last couple of days because we got we got down to around uh, 235 a, a couple of days ago. So huge moves there as well. Uh, stock market continues to go higher. The Dow traded up to 19,951 today. Uh, right now we're only only up 95 at 19,887. So we were up uh, more than 150 points earlier in the Dow. Um, so, and the reason I'm doing this video is because I used to work uh, in the markets in the city of London, and I was a futures and options broker uh, for institutional clients. Most of my business was based on bond futures, interest rate futures, you know, treasuries, uh, German bonds, but I did some precious metals futures as well for some clients. It wasn't the core of my business, and uh, that was at uh, MF Global or Men Financial at the time in the mid 2000s, 2004 to 2007. It was very active, and uh, we used to use a broker on the COMEX floor. It was still on the floor back then. Uh, the screen was only for access market after hours but during the new york day we used to call the broker on the floor uh, in new york and uh you know i went there to meet him really nice guy i still still stay in touch with him uh don't he's not a not sure he's broken gold uh through comex but he sent me an email today and because I always used to talk to him about the manipulation of the market back then. Even back then, you know, I could see it and he didn't really buy into it. So he sent me an email today and I'll read it to you. And the subject is like Bitcoin. And it said, and I and I read the, the, the email. It says, Mario, I've been waiting for your wisdom as I can't get the belief of manipulation in the metals out of my head. You see, so <laughs> he's thinking about it. This is especially true considering that Bitcoin hasn't dropped. If the reason most investors flock to Bitcoin is the same reason to hold precious metals, then why else would gold be getting smacked? And then he goes on to say, why do U.S. bonds continue to drop and the U.S. dollar continue to climb? I agree with him. It doesn't make sense. Is the argument because the rest of the world is in economic trouble? 
If so, why would you sell gold? And I agree with him. And he says, let me know if you have better ideas or if we are, uh, or if we are on the same page. Thanks. Uh, I won't say his name. Um, but uh, anyway, uh, I'll, and I'll, I'll read now my reply to him. I said, uh, these markets seem irrational to me. Excuse me. These markets seem irrational to me. I guess the excuse for gold going down is that the dollar is really strong. The other thing I agree with you is why would foreign governments who hold dollar reserves mostly in bonds want to buy dollars as treasuries continue to dump? I've been holding physical gold for years and in pounds it has done well in the last 12 months despite the big drop since the election. And I, and I, and I continue, I say, the other thing that seems irrational is that the U.S. 10-year yield has gone from 1.35% 1 1 in July and it hit 2.64% uh, today. And mortgage rates are also at 52-week highs, uh, but the Dow and S&P can't seem to drop. And then I go on to say, as for Bitcoin, the central banks do not, do not hold it in reserves, so they cannot use the bullion banks like they do to control or manipulate the price of gold. I guess Bitcoin is a true free market currency. And then I go on. I say, the other thing that doesn't make sense is that with the cost of borrowing spiking higher and the fact that there is so much debt to be served, and I put in quotes, 20 trillion just for the U.S. government, investors seem to be oblivious to that. The other thing that I think is bogus is when the Fed and Goldman Sachs come out and say that the U.S. economy is running near full employment, uh, when there are 95 million people out of the workforce. And I finish my email by saying, Gold is always frustrating because the powers that be, central banks and politicians, do not want the public to use it, use it as it is the money with the best track record over thousands of years. People who say there is no manipulation say that if gold was manipulated, the price would be a lot lower. But I think the point of manipulation or control is to put people off holding physical gold so they make it very uncomfortable for the average person to hold it by whacking the COMEX price. I hope this helps. Regards, Mario. And uh, he replies and says, it seems we are in the same choir. So here's a guy who used to work on the COMEX floor. He had his own brokerage with a couple of other guys. So he was a you know, he had uh, a seat on the COMEX. That was prior to it becoming the CME. He used to deal for the big uh, bullion banks. You know, he never, I used to talk to him a lot because I dealt with him. And very nice guy. And I used to tell him about what I thought, you know, the manipulation. And he never really believed in me, but now he does. Uh, I know it's no con consolation, uh, but... Um, I remember, you know, back in the uh, mid, uh, late 80s, my father bought some gold uh, and uh, he was advised to buy some gold, not much gold, but, uh, and he, you know, and he, after four or five years, he got rid of it because he was so uh, frustrated about it because it never seemed to uh, do anything. Uh, but I guess if he'd held that gold for another 15, you know, 20 years, it would have done very well, but... So that's what uh, I told my uh, friend who sent me the email. They want to, you know, discourage people. They want to make look gold, the gold and silver price look scary for people, you know, to put, you know, their wealth, to park their wealth and preserve their wealth in it. So as for me, uh, there's an old saying, you know, when things get tough, when there's a storm out there, batten down the hatches. That's what I do. Uh, I'm not uh, getting rid of my physical gold. You know, do I want to put my wealth with, you know, be, do I want to be an unsecured lender to a too big to fail bank that's probably full of toxic, uh, you know, uh, paper in, in their balance sheet? No, I don't. So I, I stick with it. 
Yes, the uh, mining shares have come down, but I'm still up on the year quite well, so I'm not concerned. So uh, that's what I wanted to talk about. Um, you know, people are waking up to this. Um, doesn't make sense. The markets right now um, just very irrational. So if you enjoyed this video, please uh, give me a thumbs up, share it far and wide. If you haven't uh, subscribed to my channel yet, please do. If you'd like to donate to my channel, there's some links below in the description. I'll talk to you later. Bye.